Hey friends, this is Mary with Sharing Kindergarten, here to tell you about a tech tip that I really like to do for the beginning of the year open house, um, meet the teacher, whatever you want to do, to get parents to communicate with you easily. So one of the things I do is I go into Google, and this is Google Drive, and you can see right here um, I did a Google form for my class to respond to. So this is my one this year, and you can see right here I can see the responses that I've gotten. Now, obviously, that's private information, so I'm not going to be um, sharing that with you guys, but I'm going to show you how to create one. So we're going to go over here to Create, and we're going to go over to Form. Um, and if you've ever done this before, you can edit the one you did the year before, so it can be super simple. I think it took me maybe like five minutes to set this one up. All right, so I'm going to hit Notepad, and I'm just going to hit OK. And what you're going to do is ask your parents questions that you want to, um, them to answer for you, in an easy way. So my first question would be, let's name this, um, sharing kindergarten questions. So a question you might ask your parents is, what is your student's name? Then you can choose how you want them to answer it. So you can give them help, but right here it says you can choose text, paragraph, multiple choice, text box, etc. So we're going to do text because we want their parents to be able to write the answer in. And then I'm going to check this here to make this required. All right, so now I'm going to add another item maybe. So this is that one, sorry. That's how you can edit it if you click it. So I'm going to add another item, and I want this one to be another text response, okay? And I might say, what is your name? Again, I would make this a requirement just because I'd want to know who is answering this survey, especially if the parents are no longer together or if the grandparent is answering, um, anything like that. So done. Another question might be, um, does your child have any allergies? So that would be very important, especially because I might not have time on the first day of school to look through those emergency consent cards, and I really need to know now if um, that child has any allergies. And um, this is important, especially in kindergarten, because I might not have a previous teacher to tell me. Um, I'm also going to ask, this is a huge one. What is your email address? Why is this such a big deal? Um, um, and by the way, I don't make this required because some of my families actually do not have an email. And so I don't want them to write down something that's not accurate. I'd rather them not write anything down. Um, I love this question because what happens to me is my parents write down email addresses and I can't read their writing and then I can't contact them and I always ask them to email me first, but um, that doesn't always happen. All right, so let me give you another question you can ask. I'm going to let this one be check boxes. So how can you help our classroom? And then you can pick different options that you want. So say you want to say parent volunteer. Um, and this right here just adds another option for them. Um, a mentor, and then say copies or art prep. And I'm just trying to think of another way. Um, classroom celebrations. Okay. And I always make this, I, I always leave an other box too. And then I always make this required because I want them to think that they need to contribute to their child's um, education. And sometimes you can put um, conference, whatever like that. Um, anyway, so then when you're, when you're done, you're going to hit done. And you can rearrange any of these questions. So if you see, if you hover over here, you can actually just really easily rearrange how you want those to go. Okay. And down here it says your response has been recorded. 
So if you want to show any of these, like allow responders to edit, so if they make a mistake, they could go fix it or show a public link. And that is if you want for the results and then show a link to submit another response. This might be if they have um, a really involved dad and a really involved mom that are not together. Okay, so when you're done with this, you can click down here, click up here to send the form. Now this is awesome because you can take this link they give you right here and you can copy and paste it into your school email address and you can send it that way, which is awesome. Another way is you can just chunk email addresses into here. If you do this option, they're going to have your Gmail email address. And that can be confusing because if it's like for me, I can't actually check or access my Gmail from school, so I might not want them to have that address. But anyway, so you can do that. Now look down here. It says looking to invite other editors to this form. So say you wanted to do a grade level form or a team form or something like that, you could add it there. But anyway, so if you copy and paste this right here, you can embed it in other things, lots of options. You can send this form straight to your parents and they can answer these questions. And then what you would see, see right here, I would see the actual form that I use and I can still edit it and I can see my actual responses. So this is just a really, really fun way to use forms to benefit you. Another thing I love about this is if I click my results, it gives me a time when they filled it out. And it also gives me columns. So with this email address, I would just copy and paste all the email addresses they put in this column and then just put it in my school email. And it saves me so much time. Also, when you go through these, if you want to pick out the parents that are said they can help you with a class party, you can just copy and paste their email straight from here, and it's just a huge time saver. So anyway, I hope using Google Forms is a really good help for you. Um, one more thing I can show you how to do is if you copy this link, you can go to qrstuff.com. If you don't know anything about me, you will know that I love to incorporate technology. What if you paste that QR code into here? I'm actually going to cancel real quick. I'm going to put an easier one to do. What if you save it and you can pull it up and you can see if your parents maybe you can't email it to them but you can attach this code right here to their newsletter and maybe they can access the google form that way wouldn't that be a lot of fun so anyway this is just some different ways to use google forms in your classroom um, and i might take a few minutes and make a google form for you guys and asking you guys what kind of tech questions you want to ask so you guys can kind of see um other ways to use it and um hope this helps. So have a great day, guys. I hope you take five minutes out of your day today and make a Google form. I know it's going to save you time. Bye.